Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, the, uh, the general session kickoff of the OpenStack Summit here in San Diego. I am uh, Jonathan Bryce. So happy to have you all here. Who are you all? Where did you come from? <laughs> this is, uh, without a doubt, I think, our, uh, our biggest summit yet by quite a bit. Um, you know, we, we were thinking 1,100, 1,200, 1,300. I think we're going to be more like 1,400. Um, so, so, you know, more attendees than ever before. Thank you for, uh, for coming. More content than ever before. We have 230 sessions that are covering, obviously, the, um, the design summit topics for each of our projects, um, and then a variety of topics around users who are deploying OpenStack, companies who are building products with OpenStack, we have some great workshops that are happening in this room behind us here. Um, I, I stopped by yesterday and it was completely packed. People in there uh, deploying and learning OpenStack live and, and on the scene. So a lot of, a lot of great stuff. And, uh, and as I mentioned, you know, we had quite a few more attendees show up than, than we were expecting. I feel like I need to scold some of you a little bit. Um, you know, you didn't register. <laughs> this, this, uh, you know, this, that's actually a few hundred of you that I need to scold. Um, we're glad to have you, but next time, please, you know, if you can register, then we can make sure that we have food and chairs and important things like that. Um, but you know, it, the, the line yesterday was, was pretty crazy. I actually heard some people who were talking about scalping their, uh, their registration badges. Um, you know, we don't condone that, but it's the free market, so whatever you need to do. Uh, so just, just you know, big crowd like this, one of the questions that I, I'd love to ask is, how many of you are here at an OpenStack Summit for the first time? Wow, this is amazing. You know, we, we've asked this question a couple of times. I mean, we just keep getting more and more new people who are coming in and, uh, oh, we missed the lights on that. <laughs> um, who, who are coming in and, you know, getting involved and, uh, and really um, continuing to grow the community and expand what we're doing and what we're able to do, and it's just really exciting. Um, one of the other things that we're doing today that uh, I think we'll, we'll show a, a, some uh, some video of in a little bit is we are, we are doing our first live stream. Um, we just decided to do it last week when uh, when the summit sold out. We had kind of been going back and forth, but it sold out, and uh, and so we decided, you know, well, there are still a lot of people who want to participate, so let's do a live stream. Initially, we had something like 20 or 30 registrations. Um, I think we're going to end up with a lot more people. We'll see how it uh, how it goes as we go through the uh, the show. But um, you know, I think uh, I think that it's it's just a, a, a a really great opportunity for OpenStack and for the community as a whole to, to be able to, to come by. And you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on this week, um, but um, you know, maybe you've heard of some of the other events that are going on. Um, there have been a few different cloud events. There was one that had open in the name. Uh, somebody said you know, that, that we should maybe take issue with that. They, they like to get into uh, comparisons of whose event is bigger, how many people here, this kind of thing. You know, ours is definitely not the biggest, but I feel like we probably get more work done than most other events. And, uh, and that's what, you know, our summits are really all about. I dropped by the Mirantis event last night. It was just behind the hotel here. And uh, there were a lot of people there eating some good food, enjoying a few drinks. Um, Roman from Mirantis was on the turntables over there DJing it up. And the conversations that were going on were around, you know, what's going to be happening with quantum? How are we going to deal with this in networking? What are we going to be doing for metering? How do we strengthen the, um, you know, the, the QA systems? How do we throw better events in Europe? You know, people come here, and, and it's awesome, because the conversations that go through the day, into the night, it's all about you know, making OpenStack better. And, uh, and so you know, that's, that's so awesome to see all of that happening. Um, I don't know what happened after that at the DreamHost party. Uh, you know, hopefully, they didn't keep you up too late. But I guess we'll see who is, uh, who's missing today as the day goes through. Some housekeeping. Um, so, you know, these weeks are very valuable. They also cost money to put on, and we try to keep the cost down for our attendees because we think it's it's it is very valuable. It's very important for everyone to be able to get together on a regular basis like this. Thankfully, we have some amazing sponsors who uh, who pick up most of the cost. The bulk of the cost of the summit are covered. Um, not by any uh, any registration fee that you may pay, but by these sponsors. And we, HP, Nebula, Rackspace, and Ubuntu are our headline sponsors. Um, and you know, I just want to say thank you to them. 
and uh, and you know it's it's so critical that uh, that that we have them. Um, we also have premier sponsors. Uh, you know, some of you might notice a new name up there, which is awesome, expanding the community. And uh, and then we have a number of other sponsors who are um, who are event sponsors and, and startup sponsors. So thanks to all of them. You know, let's just give them a, a round of applause, real quick. Now, they, they just happen to conveniently have booths right outside this door here. You may have uh, walked by when you came in. They're also outside the doors to the breakfast and, and lunch. Um, so, you know, I, I, you cannot avoid them. <laughs> Stop by, say hi, say thank you. Um, the other thing that's been great, too, is, uh, is the, the, uh, the announcements that have been coming out this week. And there are you know, too many for me to remember, but you know, we've had some good announcements from DreamHost, from NetApp from SolidFire, from Zadara, from Mitokura, Morph Labs, Media Temple. Um, you know, it, it, like I said, this is really an event where a lot of stuff happens, a lot of, uh, a lot of things come together and get, get launched, get finished, get worked on. So it's, uh, it's, this is a, a good week for OpenStack. So where is all of this stuff happening? We are on level two of the Hyatt um, in San Diego, just in case you're really lost. <laughs> And uh, level two has uh, the, the lunch room back there. This is the general session room, and there are a couple of other rooms here. Um, there's a, a schedule that we have the link. Uh, it's, it's on the back of your badge. I don't have my badge on, but if you look on the back of your badge, there's a link to, uh, to sched.org. That has where all of the sessions are happening, and these rooms are named on there. Um, if you go up a level, you can take the escalators right out here. That's where all of the design summit sessions are happening, and, uh, and it kind of wraps around. And then we have, uh, we have an expanded developer lounge this time uh, if you need to find a place to go plug in on some power and, uh, and get some work done. Um, the third level is a great spot for that as well. One of the other things that we're doing this time around that is, uh, that's, that's pretty neat is we have a number of ad hoc tracks. So today through Thursday, there's actually an unconference. It's going on in, in Maggie, which is on the third floor. So Maggie is, um, is uh, on the third floor, kind of at the end of the hall, and there's a sign-up board outside. If you want to do a session on, on you know, anything that's related to OpenStack but that is not an official Design Summit topic, you can go up there, you can sign up, get it on the schedule, and um, you know, get people to, to come talk about whatever it is that you need to do. We're also um, doing lightning talks. Uh, we did them yesterday. We're doing them today and tomorrow. Manchester A, which is over here, has a, has a sign-up board for that. If you have a short presentation, it doesn't have to be OpenStack related. I've seen some really awesome lightning talks over the years. Um, if there's anything that you are uh, interested in, in sharing, um, I've seen homebrew lightning talks. I've seen uh, you know, all sorts of technology ones, obviously, but um, sign up over there. And then um, one of the other events that we're doing tomorrow morning, uh, as you may know, we, uh, we now have an OpenStack foundation. We're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, the foundation has a board of directors. And the, uh, the board of directors are going to be uh, available tomorrow morning. We're doing breakfast with the board. Uh, this is a great time for, um, you know, for people who don't know who's on the board or maybe you don't know all of the people who are on the board to come and, uh, and spend some time with the board, get together, and, uh, and that's going to be tomorrow morning at, uh, at 745. And then, as always, uh, we have a number of evening events. There are two per evening. Um, this evening we have a, a Rackspace event and, uh, and a Nebula event. Um, tomorrow we have HP at the Children's Museum and we have Stingery Nightclub, uh, which is Piston's event. And is that a sock hop or something? Or, uh, no. <laughs> okay. they, they, they always do uh, interesting ones. And, um, and then Thursday, uh, there's a uh, Morph Labs and Media Temple event where they're serving breakfast for dinner. And finally, um, the, uh, the other thing that we're doing this time around is a, is a service day that's on Friday. So Friday morning, we are um, going down to Mission Beach, and we're going to, uh, to clean up the beach. Um, there's a, a, it's called the Surfrider Foundation. They, they actually coordinate um, these kinds of activities in a lot of places to keep beaches clean and fun. And, uh, and so Friday morning, after a week of open stacking, um, we can go down there and make the beach a little more beautiful and leave San Diego a little nicer than, uh, than when we came. All right. So um, I want to just talk a little bit about some of the progress that, uh, that we've made. And uh, 
I know that many of you are, are fairly up to date on the foundation. Some of you are not, so I wanted to also cover a couple of slides on the OpenStack Foundation itself. Um, and uh, you know, we are around all week. I'm available to uh, answer any questions or talk about any, uh, any concerns or uh, anything that you would like to uh, address while we're here. Um, and then, uh, and then you know, I have just some, some closing thoughts about uh, some things that I love about our community. So you know, we, we talked about uh, some of the companies who've been sponsoring our activities. And, you know, this is uh, from launch through two years. We've seen an amazing growth in, uh, in the number of companies who are, are getting involved in a variety of ways in OpenStack. And, uh, and you know, as I'm going to touch on later, that translates to a lot of great things for, for the software and also for, um, you know, for our developers, for our users, for our community as a whole. Uh, you can see that this translates into developer growth. Many of these companies are hiring developers. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, most of you who are here as a developer are, uh, are employed at one of these companies working on OpenStack. That's great, you know, that that kind of thing is, uh, is happening. But you know, you can see the trajectory is pretty similar. You can look at code. The code that's getting produced follows a very similar path as well. Uh, you know, nearly 600,000 lines of code now, I think 596,000 across our OpenStack projects. The summits, we need to make that bar a little bit higher for this one. But uh, again, you know, it, it continues to grow. And, uh, and you know, why, why do we talk about that? We talk about that because as the community grows, as more companies get involved, as more developers get involved, as the software matures, it really creates a lot of opportunity for all of us. Whether it, we are an individual developer, whether we are a user who is trying to find the right solution to automate our compute storage and networking, to run our infrastructure, or whether we are an individual technical contributor who uh, wants to be able to work on a project that's interesting with people that we like to go hang out with every six months in you know, different locations all over the place. That's, you know, this growth powers all of that and, uh, and is really an amazing engine for, um, for driving the progress that, that OpenStack has made. And as I mentioned, now we have a foundation. So this is uh, something that uh, I, I think you know, is, a, is a huge step for, um, for OpenStack as a project. We uh, are a little over two years into this, and uh, as we all know, you know, OpenStack started in 2010. Um, Rackspace and NASA really kicked it off then, and we, um, you know, we basically have have grown and grown and grown and gotten to the point where now as a community, we are independent and in control of our own destiny. And that's really what the foundation is all about. You know, it's, it's independent, it's well-funded, it has great support from, um, from a broad base of, of membership, and uh, it has, you know, ultimately the, uh, the, the ownership over the OpenStack name and, uh, and the mandate to go out and keep OpenStack growing and thriving. So that's, that is you know, a great place to be in. We, we don't have to worry about worst case scenarios with, with uh, one company or another company. Um, you know, we have a, a secure and independent home for the long term that, uh, that's gonna be able to, to really uh, take care of OpenStack. And you know, I mean, we were very early on in the foundation. And I think we have a great start, but there are obviously areas to improve. You know, I don't think anyone is, is going to uh, disagree with that. And, uh, and you know, we, we want to constantly make it better and better. All of us who are um, involved in the foundation, uh, whether it's as staff or as board members, you know, we are, are just very excited. We had a board meeting yesterday, and our board meetings generally run long because <laughs> everybody likes to talk about this stuff. You know, we all care about it. Um, but it's, it's something where, you know, we're all excited to continue helping the community and really, you know, to do what we can um, to, to just keep this thing going and going. So a couple of, of slides just as an overview for, for those of you who are um, maybe not completely up to date on how the foundation is organized. So there are three levels of, uh, of, of membership within the foundation. There's individual membership, which that's a, a membership level that's free to join. You can run for various offices. Um, you can vote for those offices totally free. And we have well over 6,000 um, individual members from all over the world. They represent 850, 900 organizations and 88 countries. So it's you know, very distributed, 
really, uh, uh, really interesting to, to see who all has, has come and joined. How many of you here are individual members in the foundation right now? Okay, good, so a good percentage of you, that's great. Um, then we have two levels of, of membership for, uh, for, for companies. There's platinum members who contribute funds and actually dedicate full-time employees to the project. Um, and uh, we have eight of those, and the, uh, those um, platinum members appoint a director to the board. The individual members elect uh, eight directors to the board, the platinum members appoint eight directors to the board, and the gold members who also contribute funds and, uh, and, and resources um, elect members to the board from, uh, from their membership class. So there are eight members as well. So we have a pretty big board, it's 24 members. Um, you know, tomorrow morning you, you can come meet hopefully all of them. Uh, and uh, we have just, uh, I think there, there may be one who is not here, who wasn't able to make it, but uh, you can come meet basically the entire board and you know, see who they are. We have uh, board members in China, we have a board member from Taiwan, board member uh, from Geneva, board member from Australia, and then uh, several from, from the US. So uh, it's, a, it's a broad group that is, that's doing a lot of different things, and, uh, and we have some users represented, we have obviously companies that are in the OpenStack ecosystem. Um, so these are the, the corporate members, the, the platinum members, the eight who are um, uh, you know, at the platinum level, and then the, uh, the gold members who are uh, also you know, part of the, the foundation. And, uh, and so the board is you know, a, a very important component of the structure. The board is legally responsible for the foundation entity itself. So what does that mean? The foundation entity has a budget, it has assets like the trademark. Um, what it does not have is control over the code, control over the development process. The, and this is a, you know, a really key thing that, uh, that we wanted to keep in place, was a, a, a way for there to be a technical meritocracy that continued and was actually um, carved in stone in our bylaws. And, uh, and so the technical meritocracy is, uh, is overseen by the technical committee and the project technical leads um, that, have, uh, that have been running the projects for, you know, for, for several years now, I guess a little over two years now. Um, the, the technical committee is responsible for the technical direction for decisions around incubation, for decisions around um, what kind of projects like DevStack or OpenStack CI or OpenStack Common, you know, the things that we have that help us build great software, you know, which ones we need to put an official stamp on and, uh, and really get support behind. Um, all of that lies within the technical committee. And, uh, and the technical committee is, is chosen um, completely, 100% by the, uh, the active technical contributors who are making code contributions into, and documentation contributions and other types of contributions into the OpenStack projects. Um, an, another new component that we have is a user committee. And, uh, and the user committee is meant to really pull in users and get their, um, their needs, their desires heard and, uh, and, and published out so that we can all know exactly um, you know, where we should be heading, what things uh, we need in the project, and uh, pain points that people are having. Um, you know, we've, we've had users who've been coming to design summits for a while, but one of the things that we've heard as we've gotten more and more users is, is that it, you know, the design summit sessions are not always the right forum for them. We've heard that from the developers as well. And so one of the things that we've done in this summit here is we have, we have kind of a, a broad range of content so hopefully users who are just getting started, they can come to a workshop, they can come to some introductory sessions. Um, you know, if they are looking towards con uh, contributing and becoming developers, they can head to a, to a design summit session or two as well. But uh, we really wanna make sure that we are we're producing content and creating structures that are going to, uh, to, to make the, uh, the, the different constituents that we have um, happy and satisfied and, and able to, to get what they need out of OpenStack. And we actually have a, a foundation staff. Um, so we have, uh, we have five people right now who are working for the foundation full time. Um, I am. Mark Collier is as well. Lauren Sell, Stefano Mafuli, Thierry Carez. You probably know all of these names if you've been involved in OpenStack. Um, you know, we've all been, been working with, uh, with the community for, for quite a while now. Um, and we're also hiring. We want to, uh, to hire another six or seven um, positions uh, over the next few months. And, and so that's, a, uh, that's, that's an opportunity for, uh, for some of you who 
you know, have maybe um, been uh, involved in building the community as, a, as part of your job or as a hobby, <laughs> um, you know, if you are really passionate about this, come join us and do it full time and help us make this thing great. Um, you know, that it is something that, uh, that it's, it's a lot of work, but uh, it's the kind of opportunity to, to build a community and, and a project that really doesn't come along very often. So openstack.org slash jobs. If you go there, you will see a lot of jobs, <laughs> not just for us, but for other companies as well. But you can find the, uh, the positions that are available for the, um, for the OpenStack Foundation. So um, you know, just as, as we wrap up here, I wanted to, uh, to just touch on, as I said earlier, you know, three things that I love about OpenStack and, uh, and about our community. And you know, we, we've come a long way. I showed the stat earlier of almost 600,000 lines of code. When, uh, when OpenStack started two years ago, there was a 9,000 line contribution for the compute piece, 20,000 line contribution for the object storage piece. It's less than 30,000 lines of code. And in two years, we uh, have now gotten to 600,000 lines of code. Over 600 developers have contributed. Um, I think somewhere around 45,000 contributions and change sets that have come in. That's really incredible. There are not very many software projects out there that have that kind of engagement and volume. And, and of those 600 developers that have contributed you know, in the last two years, 415 of them have contributed in the last 12 months. So you, know, you can look at those stats and, and you can see that, uh, that people come in, they, they contribute, they get engaged. That's 80% of the people who have ever contributed have, been, have continued to contribute, have contributed in the last year. Um, the last release, we had over 400 uh, who, uh, who contributed code. So it's, it's great to see all of that, uh, that involvement. We've come a long way. Uh, but you know we have a lot to do. But I think that we're going to succeed, and uh, and I think there are a lot of reasons that uh, that we're set up to succeed. But I just picked out three that uh, that I really like. Um, you know the first one, and this one is is maybe uh, <laughs> you know one that gets talked about in in a different way sometimes. But I think that uh, that our users are really going to be a key to our success, and the reason is because our users are not just customers, they're not just people who are, who are getting our software, but our users are really part of our community overall. And we have a number of users who are here, we have a number who are doing presentations, um, Living Social is, is talking about their usage, uh, Comcast, uh, CERN is, uh, is talking about how they're using it, eBay, Sina from China, Mercado Libre from Argentina. You know, we've got a, a lot of users who are here, others who are, you know, who are just here to participate. Uh, Wikimedia, Ryan Lane, I know many of you know him from Wikimedia, he's here, Deutsche Telekom, um, you know, there are a lot of them here. And tomorrow morning during our keynotes, we are going to, uh, to be hearing from Cisco WebEx and, uh, and on the production workloads that they're running on OpenStack. So, we, you know, we have, we have a lot of users, we have more users coming. Just in the time that I've been here, I have talked to people who are right now deploying OpenStack clouds that range from 10 nodes to 10,000 nodes. And that is, you know, you, you, you see that happening, and that's just really awesome. Um, you know, they, they admit that as they are heading towards 10,000 nodes, there are going to be some, some uh, great things to figure out. <laughs> um, you know, that's why we have, uh, why we have our developers. And, um, you know, the, the users are really, they're putting a lot of trust in us. Uh, but they are also wanting to engage. And, and the reason that I think this is a real strength for us is they are engaging in a way that most um, customers and users don't. And we need to keep that up. You know, it's a, it's a big responsibility. We have to keep listening to their needs. And, uh, and, you know, this summit, this week, we have many users, we have many potential users here. So users, developers, let's, let's make sure that we are, uh, we're making the most of this time. We had a, a Tron-themed T-shirt this summer that you might have seen that, that said, you know, I fight for the users. And, uh, and I think that this is a, a great chance for us to do that. From the foundation side, we're gonna continue to invest in, uh, in how we educate users, how we get them integrated into the community. Um, we're gonna continue to improve the, uh, the meetups that we do, the user groups that we do. Um, Sean Roberts from Yahoo uh, is, is right here. <laughs> he's doing a lot of great stuff in the Bay Area with their user groups. And, uh, and I think you know, he's, been, he's been experimenting with some different ways to, to bring users in at different levels of, of interest. And those are things that we wanna figure out how to turn into a system that we can expand around the world. 
And, you know, that's what we want to we want to do is we want to take those best practices and share them and make it work everywhere. Um, and as I mentioned uh, in in the foundation section, we have a user committee. Now, um, Tim, I don't know if you're out there, but I meant to ask you if I could put your email up here before I did it. <laughs> so I am. Uh, I'm asking for forgiveness instead of permission. Uh, but, but Tim Bell is, has been appointed as the, the first member of the user committee. If you are a user and, uh, and you want to get involved, um, contact Tim. I, I have had a couple conversations with him and I know he wants to, uh, he wants to have people reach out and wants to understand uh, what, what the best ways are to, to structure the user committee so that it's really valuable. But um, you know, contact Tim and we'll get that off the screen. <laughs> The second thing that I think is, is, a, is an amazing asset is the, uh, the international nature of OpenStack. I don't know of any other project out there that has the international community that we have at this stage. It's, it's really you know, just incredible. And let's just, you know, let's just ask a few questions here. Um, you know, do we have anyone from, so I'm from Canada. Sean, you're from Canada. Do we have anyone from Canada here? Let's, let's get some hands up. Can we get the lights up a little bit out there too, maybe? Yeah, so, okay, great. So we've got some Canadians, the nicest people on earth. <laughs> um, what about France? I know we have some French people here. Yes, okay, a little French contingent on this side. Uh, the UK. Okay, great, yes. Um, Austria. <laughs> Florian. Um, so the, China. Okay, there's a, quite a crew over here. Thank you for making that trip. It's a long flight. Uh, Japan. Yes, this is great. Um, South Africa. Excellent. So uh, that's six continents. Antarctica? <laughs> Anyone? Not yet? All right. Aussie. Oh, Australia. I'm sorry. Well, I, I know I talked to Tristan a lot yesterday, but yes, Australia. Oh, we got a few over here, too. But yeah, I mean, that, that's amazing, right? You know, that's here just in one room. And, uh, and you go out and uh, you look at, if you go over to the lunchroom, we have flags from where we have user groups all over the world. And it's, it's really uh, amazing to see how this is spreading. And I think that, that, you know, there's a lot that we can do to keep that going. It's, it's basically been happening on its own. And, um, you know, now it's time for us to, to really accelerate that and, and support that. Uh, at, when we did the foundation launch, we actually did a, uh, we basically offered a, an opportunity for these user groups to do a global meetup. And uh, it was awesome to see the response that we had. We had over 20 global meetups on the day that the foundation launched, on September 19th. And, um, you know, Jakarta, we had people in, in France, we had people in China, Japan, um, all over the place. And, you know, I mean, these people look happy, don't they? <laughs> That's what I, that's, you know, one of the things I love is people are, are happy to be part of OpenStack. Um, the other thing that was great is, you know, we made this foundation badge and we were rushing, trying to get everything together, trying to do all of the legal stuff and the business stuff and the communication stuff and we put this badge together for the, uh, for the foundation launch uh, pretty much right before it. And it was, a, it was a really cool to see how many of these groups went out and printed t-shirts. They printed, um, let's see, I think we've got some, uh, there were some signs that, uh, that the people printed. Might not have that picture in there, but people were printing signs, T-shirts, stickers. Um, you know, and I think that's, that's awesome. Uh, it's, one thing we did learn is that it's really hard to do global payments. <laughs> um, so you know, if you are still waiting for your payment, we're working on it. It will get to you, I'm sorry. But uh, we'll figure that out so we can do more of these. Uh, you know, what we want to do is we, wanna, we want to figure out how to harness all of this energy and this excitement that's all over the world. And so one of the things that we're going to be launching in the next year is, uh, is, we're, is something we call our ambassador program. We have a great community of organizers from all over the world. Um, you know, Tristan from uh, down in Australia. We have uh, Wee Chang and Yuji Du in China. Um, we have Raphael and Nicolas and Maya at, at uh, Innovance in France. Um, you know, and, and so many others, Atul Jha in India. There, there are so many people out there who are really, they love OpenStack and they want to go out there and they want to do something locally. And, uh, and so we're going to be rolling out an ambassador program um, to, uh, to help these people, to give them resources, to share best practices, and, uh, and to make sure, you know, that, that we're connected 
with, um, with all of the places that, uh, that OpenStack is, is spreading. Um, so if you, know, if you are interested in being part of the ambassador program, uh, you can reach out to Stefano Mafuli, who is uh, our community manager. Um, he's running around here too. Uh, I, don't, I don't, oh, he's over here on the end. He's here all week. Um, but talk to Stefano and uh, um, you know, we, can, we can get you involved and, and continue to spread the, uh, the, the OpenStack fever all over the world. The other thing that, uh, that, that we want to do is, um, you know, we, we think it's time to, uh, to, to take the summit on the road. And so next year, we, we really want to, to try to do a, a summit internationally. We probably are, are not going to be able to get it done by the spring, so we're looking at the fall. And, uh, and you know, we need to actually start to make decisions fairly quickly on this. So we want to start a, a process now. Um, this is another email address. <laughs> Uh, events at openstack.org. If you have a location that you want to, uh, to suggest or pitch us on, um, I was talking with some people last night at, at the Mirantis event and we were, we were making IOC comparisons. So I, I'll just, for the record, I don't take bribes. But uh, you know, if you have good information um, about uh, locations that you think would be a great spot for a summit, let us know. And also tell us you know, where, you, where you'd be able to go where it would be hard to go, uh, because ultimately, you know, the point of, of the design summit and uh, and these events is to get our community together to work, to plan the release, and uh, and so you know we, we have to make sure that we are making the right decision for the community. So um, so you know we want to hear from you. Let us know events at openstack.org where uh, internationally would be a great spot to uh, to have a summit next year. The final thing um, that uh, that I think is is really great about OpenStack is is the passion. And you know, you hear about OpenStack, you see the news, the analyst reports. There are a lot of words that get put out there. You know, you have hype, debate, heated discussion. You can put a lot of words on it. But the one I like is passion. You know, it's we have a lot of passion about what we do, how we do it, you know, who's doing it with us. And we have passion because we care. We have engagement in so many aspects of OpenStack from the development process to you know, the foundation. And, and I love that people care that much about the governance of the foundation. Uh, it's, it's something that uh, you know, it, it, people are, they really feel invested in this. And, and when that kind of investment is there, then it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to, to continue to do great things. Um, you know, there are some people who paint OpenStack almost as, as kind of this faceless conglomeration of corporate interests. But you know, when I'm here, that's not what I see. I see an excited group of people who are doing great work at, at an awesome pace. And I just, I wanna show you a little video that I, uh, that I took yesterday. So this, this was uh, <laughs> yesterday morning for the general session. I, uh, I came down and was coming in, and this was the line you know, to, to get in. Is, it, is this an iPhone 5 launch? No. <laughs> this is an open source conference. And we, we wrapped around the escalators, all the way around the lobby, out the doors, <laughs> down the stairs, around the corner, down the stairs. <laughs> you know, <I'm laughs> yes. So it, that's, that's a, you know, I mean, why do people do that kind of thing? It's because they care. Now, after I took that video, we did let everybody come in, but I did want to get the video first. <laughs> and if you haven't gotten your badge, please get your badge still. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's something where, where people come and they care about this. And as I mentioned, we, we sold out the event. Um, you know, we've got people crowded out here in the hall. So we're, we did a live stream. And we, we thought, okay, first live stream, 30, 40, 50. Um, you know, I want to show you some, some data right now from our live stream. Can we pop that up here? So in addition to the uh, 1,200, 1,300 people who are here, we have 331 people right now who are watching with us online. Um, so you know, wave to them. Hello, world. Um, you know, can, we, can we see where they're from? Do we have any of the, the map data? So we've got uh, the US, Canada, looks like Russia, India, South America, Europe. You know, people everywhere, they care <laughs> about OpenStack. They care about what we're doing here right now. That is, uh, that's something that we should all feel great about being part of. 
So, you know, to close, I just want to say thank you all. I know many of you have, have done uh, things well above and beyond what's required of you within your, uh, within your companies, your organizations, your regions to promote OpenStack. And, uh, and you know, we really appreciate that. So um, I think we're going to have a good week. We already had some, some good days uh, or some good sessions yesterday. We've got a lot more planned. I hope we can all uh, get a lot out of this and, uh, and have a really productive week. So thank you again to everyone for your passion, for coming here, and let's have a great week.